hi guys welcome to the channel today we are doing food prep so i am going to make some um i'm making what we are going to have for the whole week so i want to take you along with me then you know like uh, i hope you learn even one tip out of this because you know we are busy even if you are stay at home mom i don't think you would love to cook every day so at least if you prep them sleep them then it gives you like some time so i am going to show you everything i'm going to do i'm making two types of soup and i'll be making cane cake and jollof rice so in this house is either jollof rice fried rice or watch it every week because that's what the main thing that the boys like so i will going to do all that together
these fresh tomatoes to my jollof rice stew. I've got them in the fridge and the date is almost due. So I'm going to add them to the stew um, pepper blend and just add everything to the...
have the fresh ones that smells much nicer but I don't have the fresh ones at the moment so I'm using the um, granulated one and I did add in some aromat I always do add some aromat to my um, pie to give it nice taste salt and everything so that I do not have to necessarily add salt because the, this has got a little bit of salt in it but if you want more salt in your food it's your food feel free and add more to it so I've got my pastry blender so I am going to make some pie and this butter is um, 500 grams butter and which one is this one I need to so um and um i have already used half of it so i'm using so this will be 250 grams and this is um two cups of two and a half cups of flour i'll show you the cup that i use so to keep everything nice and cold uh, i just brought them out from the fridge so it's still nicely it's nice and cold so I just wanna dice them so it's easier to mix if I use two if you use 250 for the two and a half cups and is um, it's not enough for you because I always say with pie uh, it depends the day what pie you want to eat I always say that because sometimes you know you do not want the um, a very rich pie if you don't want it to be very very rich you can always reduce the butter if you want it to be very very rich like 250 with the um, for two and a half cups will will not be enough you need to add a bit more so at this that is what I I know about pie because um, that's how I make my pie if I don't want it to be too rich I don't add too much butter and if you use the pastry blender it really helps it so your hand will not give it like because you want to keep everything still cool down and everything so so today I just want to go with you with how I do my food prep so this is what I do but anyway along the line I did make I'm going to uh, make kenke and all that jazz but I don't want this video to be so long so I didn't add all of it to it but I think it's a good idea when you give yourself two to three hours I say two to three hours because Jaden sometimes you have to stop what you're doing go and see to it and do something for Jaden or something or someone will call you mom this and that so if you give yourself two to three hours you can make some maybe tomato stew spinach stew whatever stew and maybe two maybe two soups i always make two soups during um like on the weekend
Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened then? Now. When? Now. Wear it down. Go back to then. Now. 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 Why? Miss. When? Just.
on this channel I do cooking cleaning and a little bit of tablescape so today we made jollof rice chicken mutsuol ajunin kwai we've already had some for our dinner and we have some um, aben kwai here so I will link a video of me doing aben kwai separate so you know how I do it God bless you all and stay safe